how's your past week been? And do you have anything exciting upcoming for this next week? I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. There's a winter festival and I'm gonna go with Glamburger. I'm so excited. But we'll see if Glamburger pops in today. I told her I'd be streaming, we'll see. Mm. I'm using my Lion Moth mug too. Mm. Okay. So let's take a look at this past week. Um, I was actually not feeling too well this whole week. So a lot of the stuff that I had, I had planned to stream, I didn't. Uh, but that is okay. That's totally okay. Um, I actually got a lot of other stuff done, like a lot of admin type stuff done. So I'm going to take a look at this. Thank you notes. I still have to do that from Christmas. That's so long ago. Okay. So we're moving, we're moving to-do list over. Let me know, by the way, if you're working on anything in particular. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube later on, let me know if you're working on anything in the comments. I would love to hear. So, okay, thank you notes. That's a big one. I have to do that this week. Um, but luckily we now have a mailbox that works. So, although I don't know if it has one of those little flags, like, can you, can you put outgoing mail in a mailbox if you don't have a flag to put up? I'm so sorry if that's a dumb question, <laughs> but, uh, there is a post office that we could walk to. So maybe, maybe we'll just take a walk. It's so pretty outside. It's so uh, snowing or I guess. Mm, it's not snowing at the moment, but there is snow on the ground. Okay, yes, I did that return. No, we still need to fix the heater. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add in there, there's stuff on the porch we need to bring in. Okay. Um, I did order that, I did do that, and I did do that. Awesome. <laughs> you just put a sticky note for the USPS worker. Hey, that's so smart. Like, by the way, there's mail in here. I guess that's all that a, <laughs> I guess that's all that a, a, a flag does. Yeah, Carly, it's so funny. So geranium oil. Um, I've used it for many, many years, like when I'm on my period, but, um, geranium oil, I don't really like the smell of unless I need it. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> That's so good to know about the mailbox though. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, it's like when, and maybe I associate it with like taking care of myself and feeling more comforted when I'm like in pain. But um, yeah, it's not my favorite smell. It's not, but it's um, when I need it, I'm like, yes, like <laughs> I want it all. So I'd be curious what your experience is if you try it out. Hmm. Good things that happened. Um, my sister came to visit for the first time in our new place. And um, also Tarot Night. I did Tarot Night, uh, Pisces Pixies Tarot Night, and it was so good. Like, I really, really, really like the vibes with that. Um, so that's what I'm putting for my good things that happened this week. And I only have one Polaroid to add. There's my sister with Arthur. E, be focused. <laughs> there they are. Hey, it actually focused. Like, thank you, camera. I need to remember where to hold things so they focus. I'm constantly putting like cards up and they never, they never seem to focus well. Um, I only have one Polaroid so far and I'm gonna put it over here because the winter festival is tomorrow and I wanna take Polaroids there and put them in. So that's the plan. So for now, for now, we've just got the one. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll post the pictures of the final spread, but I'll wait till I put those in. Okay. Can you hear the music okay, by the way? I changed it in the middle. I had like sleepy, sleepy night sounds and I was like, mm, like crickets and stuff. Oh, nice. 
I love seeing the big V of geese when they fly overhead and I just saw it go by in the window. They're so cool. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty easy. That was our, our last week's spread. Like I said, I'll bring in new pictures. Let me know if you're working on anything in particular. Um, here is this week. The Lunar New Year. Oh, interesting. It has it on Sunday. Now, I was pretty sure that the new moon was on Saturday, but that's going to affect my schedule. So does anyone know for sure? Okay, I guess I have to look this up. Because um, is the Lunar New Year like... I don't know. I don't know. Um, my computer's being slow. New moon, January 2023. I was so certain it was Saturday. Yeah, it says January 21st. Okay. Yes. All right, all right, all right. That's what I thought. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, so that means that tomorrow actually we'll be back here on Twitch and we're going to be doing a new moon reading. And I've actually already pulled the collective reading and I've been sitting with it and taking some notes. Um, so I think that that's what I want to do for those particular streams is to pull ahead of time and just like have some time to sit with it. So amazing. Um, this week's focus, I'm actually starting out a new schedule and I'm going to put schedule in quotation marks for you all because um, I'm relieving myself of the obligation of a schedule. I'm just using the idea of a schedule to help me out with planning. You know what I mean? Um, that's something I've realized that I can't be like locked into a schedule because my schedule is toddler. <laughs> that's the schedule. Um, let's see, what do we want our theme to be this week? Last week, yeah, last week we used some blues. January. Hmm, I'm looking at the washi tape. Well, it's also kind of a new moon week, so what if we use some, like, darker colors? Like, I've got the stripe here. Okay, I need to reorganize my washi tape drawer. Um... Hmm. I've got different like grays. It is a very gray month, but is that like too boring? <laughs> You've been trying to journal with your new Llewellyn date book. Hey, you need to keep up with it. Hey, that's so awesome. Someone posted in Discord about using using that. I think the same. I think the same one. What are you journaling in there? Is it like is it like more of your spiritual journal journaling or personal journaling? Um. I think I used, I used something like that once years ago to do dream journaling, I remember. Hmm. Hmm. See, like, I like, like, this is fun. This one. But this one's kind of boring, but I have so much of it. It matched my old planner, but honestly, that my, my, my planner from last year was kind of my least favorite of the designs so far. I never quite felt attached to it. Ooh, wait, wait a second. What about this? Okay, can you see this? It's like kind of got some shiny stripes on it. So we could sort of do this like icy, cold, dark theme, but now I need a big washi tape to go with it. You love it? Oh my goodness. Um, oh yeah, I would love to see... The Llewellyn one is the one, let me see. I swear someone posted in Discord about it. Let me look. I know that they did. Is it under planner spreads? Yes, Rick did, Rick did. So, and, and Rick was here a second ago. So Rick, if you're still here. Okay, is it the Llewellyn Witches Date Book 2023? Just a little bit of everything in there so far. You love the recipes in the history. Hey, that's so cool. Um, hmm. I'm looking for a big washi tape to go with this theme. Well, I guess I could do polka dots, but that one doesn't, it's like these don't really go together. Like these go together, these go together, but not these. So 
I have less of the bigger washi tapes though. I always like to find like one of each size. That's the one you have. Okay, cool. I, I was I was thinking that was probably the same. Um well my goodness. My goodness. Okay, let's use this big one and let's find a different small one. <laughs> this is the time of the indecision of the stream, you know? Okay, what about this? Flowers? Is that what I used last time? I, I literally used that last time. I thought so. Blue. I hope everyone's doing well, by the way. Is there anything you're especially looking forward to this next week? Um, like I said, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is tomorrow. And that's a winter festival. Um, gosh, I'm just like feeling so uninspired. I feel like I need more washi tape. Is, is that the, the key? Like, oh, I feel uninspired. Um, what can I buy? <laughs> is that a bad habit? Uh, okay. I'm gonna go with this, maybe. Sort of fun colors together. Mm, I'm not sure yet. But hey, I just heard um, Arthur, so I need to go check and make sure he's still asleep and I will be right back. But hey, check out my new Be Right Back screen. Okay, one second.
Okay, we're back. He did wake up, but I was able to get him to sleep. You think that's you, Dandelion? Oh, about like, oh, I'm uninspired. Oh, I'm gonna go buy something. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I had the thought of just scrapping those washi tape and actually starting with the stickers and then figuring out our color scheme from there. So we're moving into Aquarius season, right? So I'm, I'm thinking of finding an Aquarius sticker sheet. So let's see what we have. Um, what does this book start with? I'm actually curious if it starts with Aries or since it's like made for planners, if it might start with like Capricorn. Um, Aries, yeah, it did. Okay, so that means Aquarius would be at the end. There's Capricorn. Well, that Aquarius sheet looks like it was done. Wait, is this another one? Are there no more? Pisces, wait, do I not even have an Aquarius sheet? Capricorn. My plan is foiled. Oh my. Um, okay, so let's find winter ones. That's fine, it's fine. We'll find some winter sheets. Are there any here? This is a nature book, but I think it's a little bit more so about like camping. Okay. We're going back to seasons of the year. I always go back to this one. Hey DC, how's it going? Um, all right, all right. So here's some winter sheets. I like that one. And so uh, let's go with this. Let's go with these sort of like minty colors maybe. Um, so in that case, I think this would work. I know it's floral, but whatever. Minty color, or unless this one. Okay, what do you think? This one's also floral, but it kind of feels like snowflakes. I don't know, I think this one has the feeling I want. And gold, naturally. And this has like a similar pattern to the black one that I wanted to use, so that, that's perfect. Um, and, wait, yeah, 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 I wanna do that one. And for our thinnest washi tape, um, how much is left of this one? It's so funny, I could have sworn I ran out of this like very light colored one, but let's see, let's see how much of it I have. I am curious. Okay, by the way, I've got my cacao. Let me know if you're drinking anything in particular. Mm. Okay. So, I have, like I was saying before, a new schedule. And again, I'm putting schedule in quotation marks because it isn't something I want to feel obligated to. It's more for myself, for like organizing my time. Um, but as you know, the schedule is fluid for the channels, absolutely fluid. But you can see kind of my plan here. Um, so I definitely want to meditate in the mornings, but I'm not going to put the washi tape for that just yet. I'm going to start with streaming. And my feeling is right now, I've been doing some reflecting and I've been feeling like if I read tarot on stream, that I need to take the next day off of reading tarot on stream because I feel like I need to, it's like I sort of do an outpouring, then I need to do an, a replenishing, maybe even reading for myself or something. But yeah, like replenish that energy and then do the outpouring again. Like I need at least that one day. That's been something I've realized. Um, I think sometimes I've been pushing it and I'm not saying that's why I got sick this past week, but I kind of think the universe was like, okay, you need to rest. We're going to make you rest by being sick and you're going to rethink things. So I did. I did. I rethought stuff. Um, so typically I'm streaming around this time, like while Arthur is asleep. So I'm going to write that in here, write that in. Um, so Sunday, tomorrow, I guess that's not tomorrow. Sorry. Day after tomorrow. Um, 
I'm going to put this in as like 11. I'm just going to say two and a half hours because I feel like I do two to three. So maybe it makes sense to put in two and a half. Um, so 11 to 1.30 is going to be my estimated while Arthur's a sleeping time. While Arthur is a sleeping. I like that word, a sleeping. Um, so on this day, I'll read tarot like normal. Um, and then I'm thinking that I'll take the next day off and on my off days, I'll actually like make videos because I really haven't been making videos lately. And then also when I'm making videos, I can schedule them to post on off days too. So then they'll, that'll be a good balance, I think. So then Tuesday, I'll read tarot again. Um, 11 to 130 is my estimation. Okay. So then Wednesday, I'm going to do the planner stream. So again, that'll be a break from tarot. And on that day, I, I want to do planning and watercolor. Um, oh, I'm getting to the end. Or am I? No, I'm not yet. Washi tape. Please survive. Um, so then Thursday, I'll do tarot again. And then correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure then Saturday is going to be the half moon. Is the half moon on the 28th? Because then I'll take Friday off. I'll prep the community, the um, collective reading, and then we'll do the half moon stream on the 28th. And if it's not exactly the half moon, I bet you it's close enough. <laughs> hey, Allison! Oh my gosh, you came at the perfect time. I was just speculating to the air of, uh, <laughs> not to the air, I know that people are here, but you're, you're the one who will know for sure. Is the 28th, is that a half moon? Is it the waxing half moon? I feel like it is, and that's when I'm scheduling the half moon stream, but I hope I'm not wrong. Also, how are you doing? Good to see you. Okay, there we go. I know you can barely see those washies, but let's choose a color. Let's choose this blue color, and I'm going to kind of just color them in. It is. Okay, yes. Awesome. I knew it had to be around then, but I didn't know if that was the exact day. <laughs> What's been going on? How are you doing? Are you feeling that new moon energy yet? I know we were chatting about it a little bit. This week I was so exhausted. I pretty much like ended up taking this whole week off. When I say off, I was actually like doing hours of work each day, but it was more so admin type work and planning. So like really thinking about, I was looking towards the new moon as being the start. Like going forward after the new moon, what do I want things to feel like? And so hopefully this um, spread kind of reflects that. I'm just being really light with this blue, so I don't even know how much the camera is gonna pick up on it. <laughs> You've been very low energy. I wonder what's going on. I know Mercury came direct, but other than that, I still, I wanna get good at astrology. I really do, that's one of my goals this year. I wanna actually know what's going on because, yeah. But I do find, and I think that you and I have this in common, um, Allison <laughs> in particular, let me know anyone else here if you agree. But I think the moon affects us so much because it is, it's the closest like body to the earth, you know? Um, so sometimes I feel like just simply following the moon, that alone tells me a lot of what I need to know. And then looking at the other things can kind of make it make more sense. You thought when Mars went direct, you'd start getting moving again, but nope. Hey, Sleepy Duck, yay, Sleepy Duck is here. You all, after we're done planning, we're gonna be unboxing two decks. We have the Starseed Oracle, and this is a gift from Sleepy Duck, so we'll unbox and flip through that one. And then, this is my birthday present to myself, the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Has anyone heard of this deck before? Um, I don't personally know, but I have a couple different connections to the artist who made the art in this deck. Um, like I know people who know her very well. So that was kind of cool and I'm excited to look through it. 
<laughs> Carly, we love you too. Are you starting to feel better? How's your bath? Are you still in it? Um, okay, let me finish this just like light coloring in. Okay, so this is how I'm imagining energy flowing better. I'm just going to talk it through. You have a migraine, but you're better. Oh, Sleepy Duck, you, you were totally fine. You don't have to be online 24-7. I sent you a message, but I didn't even know if you'd get it in time, you know? You just got out of the bath. Elin came home for a few hours while his dad works. Oh, I hope you have a good time with Elin. Hope you can stay restful if that's what you need as well. Okay, so I think energy is going to flow a little bit better with this schedule. I'm going to talk it through. So I'm going to do tarot readings on Sunday. Um, and then I take the day off. And I'll probably work on things like videos, you know. Um, maybe writing. Writing, writing like concepts and scripts and stuff. Scripts, but you know what I mean? Things I want to talk about in videos. Maybe I'll work on writing on Monday. Um, around the same time, like when Arthur's asleep. So then if I take the day off, then I'll be rejuvenated, hopefully, to do tarot again. Because I just, I realize I can't. I just can't do it every single day. Um, I need that, I need that, like, like, like I was saying, like an outpouring and then a refilling. Um, and I even, I'm liking the idea of pulling cards for myself too, maybe on the off days. It's like I can give out and then I focus back within and then give out and just like have that at least. Um, does Arthur have a toy camera? He doesn't, but he loves, he loves my Polaroid. You feel super crampy, but breathing helps. Yes, he's playing dinosaurs while you heat up water for tea. Yes, drink that tea. <laughs> Oh, you should both make tea. Absolutely. I've got my cacao here. Hmm. In the Lion Moth mug. <laughs> um. So yeah, then we'll do tarot. And then Wednesday, we'll do planning and watercolor here on Twitch. Um, so that'll be kind of like, again, my break from tarot. Um, and then I can come back to it on Thursday. And then that I can take a break, kind of prepare the collective reading. And um, so I'll, I'll say this, I'll say videos and collective reading. Doing my kind of off stream work. And then Saturday, I'll be able to do the half moon ritual and tarot here on Twitch. So, what do you think? This feels way more balanced to me. You had a dream of a camera like a Polaroid, but it was an old-fashioned toy where you could look in the lens and see, oh, those are so fun, Sleepy Duck. Oh, I'll have to find one. Um, yeah, so this feels like my energy will flow a bit better, so I'm trying to plan ahead for it. I'm trying not to set myself up to like be disappointed in myself, you know? Yeah, those viewfinders were the coolest. It's so true. Do they like, I don't see those anymore. I wonder if it's because kids are so used to like having screens and they're like, I don't care to look through that thing just to see pictures. You know what I mean? But it was an experience. Me too, Carly. I hadn't even thought of it until Sleepy Duck mentioned it right now. For years, probably. I haven't even thought of it. Okay, so I'm going to write down meditation. My goal is 8 a.m. at the earliest. That's what I'll say. I try to do it at 8 a.m. at the earliest, but, you know, it can be much later than that, too. Um, by the way, we're doing group meditations together in Discord. Um, exclamation point Discord, if you want to come and join. It's been so lovely. I've even started, like, let's say I'm not even ready for the day yet just um putting my camera and you don't have to be on camera but like i'm leading it so i'm trying to be on camera um so i put my camera towards my altar and like light the candles and stuff so then it's like okay i don't have the pressure to be like totally you know performing and presentable early in the morning but we can still just do it you know what i mean so i'm finding all of these ways to make what i want to do fit with the energy that it takes to do it you know um, 
it's a cool place to be sometimes. Your dream mind. One of your favorite things was putting together pens and digging in the compost pile, looking at bugs. Oh, that sounds so fun. <laughs> and educational. Ooh, I'm so glad you all are here because I have a question about Saturday. Okay, so my plan is to do the like the mudra meditation and Egyptian yoga, all of that as part of the half moon ritual. But our prosperity meditation that we've been doing as part of the, um, the early morning meditation, I was thinking, I was thinking that on days when it's like most of our meditation is actually happening on stream, maybe getting up early, like before the sunrise and doing that five minute prosperity meditation and then like going back to sleep. Um, it might sound crazy, but it would only happen once every two weeks. But I didn't know, like, should I open that up on Discord too? Or if I do that, if I ping the meditation circle, is that gonna accidentally wake people up? Or um, is it something, like basically, is that something you'd wanna know that I'm doing and wanna come do it too? Uh, is, is, that's my question. So if anyone has an answer for that, let me know because I wanna put that in here. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it in here, but I don't know if it's just for me. I spelled it wrong. Mediation is what I wrote. Me meditation. <laughs> hey, Metalhead Sander. You would never wake up from a Discord ping. Okay, that's good to hear. Philly, thanks so much for running Discord in the chat. Come on down. Um, yeah, everyone's welcome. Please come join the Discord. Philly, how are you doing? Good to see you. And you too, Metalhead Sander. How's everything going? <laughs> you got that hype train conductor badge. That's so awesome. Doing well. How are you? Yeah, we're just working on some planning. Um, I kind of have a new vision for how like the weeks will flow. Hey, train. <laughs> good to be here. Oh, it's good to have you here, Philly. It's a wonderful idea, but you're not a morning person. Totally. I've done this. Okay, so let's see. Did I do it for 40? I think I did it for 40 days straight. I got up before the sunrise, and I would do a 15-minute meditation, and then I'd go back to sleep. And I think I did it while I was pregnant. Anyway, it was beautiful. Like, I loved it. I did it every single day. But I kind of like the idea of doing that on occasion, not every day. Um, but that's, that was my thought. Um, oh yeah, we got a new way to open the fairy doors. Nightbot is announcing it. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty sure, and I'll double check in my planner, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing like unusual next week. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Anything out of the ordinary. You wanna try that? Yeah, well, Dandelion, if you ever want to join us, like, no pressure, but um, in Discord, if you click under, it's like, choose alert, so you can click a roll to be alerted when there's meditation group, and we're doing it every day, so <laughs> you'll sometimes get up at three or four and listen to guided meditation. See, that's the magical time. It's, there are so many examples of different practices and cultures and stuff that use that middle of the night time in like very magical ways. Yeah, <laughs> I believe in it. Yeah, totally dandelion. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a good group. Um, usually it's about 30 minutes that we're connected, but you can come and go as you want. Like, don't worry about interrupting if it's like already happening and you pop in. This is for everyone. <laughs> and don't worry if you have to leave early either. But um, for about 30 minutes, we do 15 minutes of meditating with a mudra that we pull on the half moon. So we pull a new one every two weeks. And then we do a five minute prosperity meditation. And the rest of the time is usually kind of like connecting and reflecting about what we did. Metal Hand Center, yes. Time zone difference, totally. It makes it that it isn't the morning for you. Well, you can do it any time of day, but I totally understand if it's like at a time that's impossible. Otherwise, um, the space is always open too. So I don't have to be the, the, the head of the group. Like, like people can, can meet up there whenever they want. New to 
Discord. Aw, oh, Dandelion. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... 28th. Oh! Oh! The 28th, we're going to a museum. So I can't do this on this day. I should have looked at my planner first. Whoa! Okay, so the 28th... Um... Maybe I do this in the evening time. Lars is doing this awesome concert in a museum and we get to go. So, well, well, I don't know. Maybe we do like an evening ritual kind of a thing. Like what if it was like, would it be crazy if it was like eight to 10 or something? Or maybe if, if it doesn't work, I can do it the day before. <laughs> Oops, I should probably do that first from a planner, right? <laughs> You'll check out the time. Okay, yeah. Well, it, it varies every day. The earliest it is, is 8 a.m. Eastern. But it's a little bit flexible. So that's why I've got it so that I can just like, you know, ping the group. <laughs> You're a fan of nighttime things? I am too. I was such a night owl before having a baby that wakes up every day at 5 a.m., you know. Um, I, I'm totally, I'm with you though. Like, I feel the same. And it's a problem because I want to stay up later. And then I don't. Okay. So what I might actually do is leave this and I might put the ticket. I'm assuming it's like a little ticket, like a ticket to when we go to the museum, I might paste it in there. So yeah. <laughs> You're a morning lark dandelion. See, I want to be because I have to be. I'm like forced to be. I really want to be. But um, yeah. But I'll just write it here. Museum. <laughs> All right. So now that we've put this in, I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, the other washi down. This washi is really losing its stick, I must say. Hopefully it gets stickier as I like go down the layers. Ooh. Terascopes. I have to do terascopes this week. If you all ever want your monthly terascope, it is on Kofi. That's where I do that. Anytime you're feeling magical is a good time, day or night. It is so true. It's so true. And, you know, different phases of life might provide different different things too. Like we might feel different. Is anyone else planning in their planner, by the way? If you're working on something else, let me know. But you're an 11 a.m. morning wake up type of guy. Philly, that was me 100%. Like when I could do that. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> I'm with you. Let me straighten this one out. All right, so this middle one, we'll, we'll do the, the big washi tape. This week is looking so sparse. Like, oh, is this what it's like when I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be easy on myself. I'm not gonna plan too much. I'm gonna be easy on myself. Like, wow. Something's wrong with your brain in the morning. Coffee is key. Yeah, Lars is very dependent on coffee. Like, it was like storming, like like ice was like falling from the sky yesterday and Lars ran out of coffee and it was like, well, I guess we gotta go to the store. <laughs> we gotta go to the store in the storm and get that coffee. It's true. Aw, my tape's covering up the meditation. Oh well, we know what's gonna happen. Saturday early morning. Okay. I feel like I'm especially bad at putting in the washi tape today. Why is that? My sister was always the morning person and I was the night owl. It's definitely when I felt the most creative. 
But I think now anytime I don't feel tired is when I feel the most creative. But the problem is I feel tired all the time. That's how I feel, Allison. So yeah, like Lars is like super coffee, coffee. And um, it gives me anxiety too. I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. But cacao, oh my God, that's what I'm drinking right now. Um, and it's like, it's like dark chocolate that you can like melt and froth up. And it has that like... It has the caffeine of chocolate, but it's not a lot. And it's so heartwarming and heart opening like that. Oh, I'm so glad I found cacao. Dandy blend. I also love dandy blend. Like put that with some cinnamon, some maple syrup and hot water. Yes. It's like a dandelion coffee sort of. It's like, it's kind of like instant coffee, but there's no coffee in it. It's so, so, so good. Okay. So we're going to put the stickers in, but first I'm going to read to you our challenge of the week. And if you want to, feel free to put in the chat if it makes you think of anything. I usually use this space here at the bottom. I'll put this up here at the bottom. I use this to journal about whatever the challenge of the week is. I never read it ahead of time, so I don't know what it is yet. Um, but you can take a moment if you want to journal about it. You can grab a journal and journal. If you want to just think about it, if you want to write it in the chat, whatever you want to do. Our quote is from karma, from karma itself. And it says, I saw that, I saw that karma. It says, realize your actions, release positive or negative energy out into the world. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, just transferred. I'm gonna add in there, I feel like it's not just transferred. I feel like it's also transformed, like transferred or transformed. Let me know what you think. This week, focus on only radiating positive energy to those around you in both thought and action. Okay, this is a very interesting challenge of the week. I feel like I've got a lot of thoughts about this because like, yes, yes, it's good to be positive, but I feel like there's so much emphasis on that that sometimes we might stuff down negative feelings because we're just like trying to be positive. I feel kind of... To be honest, I kind of feel like this, this challenge of the week, like there's definitely good quality to it, but there's also the possibility of this sort of like people pleasing kind of thing. Like I'm just going to be what I want other people or what I think other people want me to be. Um, even if I'm feeling bad, I'm just going to put on a happy face. You know what I mean? It kind of has that sort of a feeling. Hey, Danielle. Good morning. Good to see you. Um, Danielle, you stream? Let me know that you stream. I want to know if you stream. Um, if you've already told me, I apologize. <laughs> Let me make sure that I'm following you. But do, do you do y'all get what I mean about that though? Like I feel like okay, Danielle, I'm following you. Like I get why this is our challenge because I think a lot of times we can sort of get in this like negative like negativity begets negativity sort of rut. And then we get stuck there and then we are like radiating it and there's like no need for it. It's not necessary. Um, and we could kind of transform that energy and change our mindset and then change like the way we interact with people and stuff. Like I think that that's really positive. But um, in terms of saying like focus on only radiating positive energy to those around you both in thought and action this week. It just, again, it feels to me like as someone who is often in sort of like a toxic, like people pleasing habit, um, it feels like it would push me towards that a bit. You play guitar and sing, Danielle, oh, I'll have to check that out. <laughs> Thanks for telling us, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are about that. I think, I think that there's a balance and I think it's kind of like, don't fake the positivity. And I know that some people say like, fake it till you make it. Like put on, like if you smile, it makes you have like feel good feelings. Um, I have heard that, but I don't know. I feel like if there's a reason why we're feeling negative, maybe we need to sink into it and figure it out and then kind of transform it. That's my feeling. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. I'm gonna take a moment to journal about that. And yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's journal for a couple minutes, just a couple minutes, and then and then we can discuss if you all have any ideas about this as well.
Allison, you're totally good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you the challenge of the week that we got and then what my response to it was. And let me know what your thoughts are. And if you want, if it's something you want to journal about, feel free. Um, but he, okay, so he, here's what it is. Um, the challenge of the week, for, this is written by Passion Planner, is realize that your actions release positive or negative energy out into the world. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, just transferred. This week, focus on only radiating positive energy to those around you in both thought and action. And I was kind of feeling like I get what they're trying to say, but also like as someone who falls into people pleasing a lot, this kind of like pushes me in a way that makes me feel like, ugh, like I don't want to like pretend to be happy if I'm not, you know what I mean? So this is what I wrote and you all let me know if you've got any thoughts, but I wrote, I think there's a balance. I think there is a time and place to realize you're, you're pointlessly radiating negativity. And then there's a decision to change your mindset and therefore change your life. But I also think we shouldn't ignore the shadow. We should sink into it, understand it, and transform it. Um, I think I'm going to add to this, like, positivity shouldn't be fake or forced. Um... But healing, maybe like healing is the more powerful vibration. Something like that. Let me know. Let me know if you all agree. <laughs> um, Okay, that's my, that's my two cents there. Okay, uh, Allison, that's so interesting. Medium Jenny Lee had a guest on last night who had a near-death experience. She said that after we die, we have to experience everyone else's experience of us. Oh, that just like, that just like, um, gets my heart. <laughs> Even the old lady you cut off in traffic. Ooh, well. I guess that's a good point. It's like, when am I taking my negativity and then I'm putting it on someone else? That's a really good point. Um, like, that's not good. I think I was like, yeah, maybe I was reading this from the opinion of being like, I can't say when I'm not okay to someone. You know? Um, like, maybe I'm reacting to that idea. But in terms of like, how can you hold, how can you be responsible for your own? This is a good point. How can you be responsible for your own feelings in your own, like if you're in a negative state, be responsible for it and not transfer it to someone. Transform it within yourself, but don't transfer it. That's a really good point. I'm gonna write that down. Wow, Philly, that's really intense. Were you there in the hospital at the time? Was it while, was it while, like, after you were born and stuff? Like, or was this before? That's really, like, that's incredible and really fascinating. Um, okay, I'm going to write that down. Thank you, Allison. That's a really good point. Like, this is, this is why we talk about things. It was before you were born. Gotcha. Um, okay, so what I wrote was, but it is important to take responsibility for your feelings and not transfer it to someone else. That's like, yeah, that's like a really important key there. It really struck you when she said that. That poor old lady had to experience fear just because I was in a hurry. Yeah, and it, and it makes sense. It makes sense, like... Everything we do has an effect. Absolutely. 
Hi, C Buzz. Oh, we're not doing readings today, but we will be tomorrow. We will be tomorrow. I hope that you're doing well. Um, tomorrow we're going to do a new moon stream, and we've got pretty special readings planned for that. I hope I didn't leave my coffee shop open. I should probably double check that. If anyone else has any thoughts on that, do let me know. Um, but next we're going to do some stickers. So didn't I, I could have sworn I already got, okay, I put the sticker book back in here. So funny. Okay, let me double check the shop here. Shop is closed. Okay, good. The new moon. Yeah, it's when, it's when the moon is dark. It's when like we don't, um, we can't see it necessarily in the sky because the sun, hey, a boat is is going by and it looks so awesome. I really wish I could like, I've said this before, but like take a picture with my eyes and show it to all of you. Um, and on new moons, it's really good for like new beginnings. Um, and this one's especially like that because it's the new lunar new year. So it's like the new year, new moon, if that makes sense. And there, yeah, tomorrow. Um, because there are 13 in a year. And hey, there are 13 people watching. Um, there are 13 moons in a year. And then when we get to the end of it and start a new one, then it's the Lunar New Year. New Year, new moon, new me, totally. Okay, so I was wanting to use some of these stickers for this spread. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna use Jolly though, cause that sounds like Christmas. But I am gonna use this mug. Let's put that here. Oops. <laughs> oh, and snowflakes, yes please. Hot cocoa please. This is kind of like hot cocoa, especially because I sweetened it. Now we're getting to the bottom of it. This is my cacao. Um, a lot of these feel kind of Christmassy, actually, to be honest. I want to use these pastel ones. Like, I think it goes well. Here's a little gingerbread. It goes well with, like, these sort of pastel flowers and this minty, um, minty green. Let it snow. See, I'm just going to find the ones that aren't Christmassy and use those. Let it snow. Yes. And look at this cute gingerbread house. You can go right there. We'll just put some snowflakes around. Did you guys get a storm? We, oh, Oh my gosh, I don't know if you were listening to that part. Um, so it wasn't like a storm storm so much. We got ice coming down, but in the middle of the time when the ice was just like coming down yesterday, and we do have some snow on the ground. Did you get a storm? By the way, let me know. But uh, while the ice was coming down, that's when, because we were talking about coffee earlier, that's when Lars realized he didn't have coffee, and so we had to go and get some from the store because it was that much of an, of an emergency. <laughs> Hopefully he isn't listening. Um, I, I think it's cute. <laughs> Actually, I was kind of happy to get out of the house. Um, yeah, we went out in the storm, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these cute, like, um, I don't know, put this one here. There's another one too. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I was saying that I agree with you. Kofi, Co new Kofi subscription from Amber. Wait a second, Amber, what are you doing? What did you do? What did you do? I'm checking Kofi right now. So sweet. What? Amber. You're the first one? 
I haven't even announced it yet, but you know because I've talked about it with you. Amber, thank you so much. You all, we have a new subscription. I just kind of like put it up there and like let it sit. Um, but essentially, we're starting this thing. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even prepared to talk about it. Amber, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you subscribed. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, um, I'm going to be making and sending out um, a piece of artwork, so an oracle card, each month, mailing out physical in the mail with writing. <laughs> and if you subscribe to it, which um, I'm about to start rolling it out, but I, I went ahead and I put it up there just in case anyone wants to. And it means so much to me, Amber, that you are. Um, but it's kind of like a build your own deck sort of a thing. So every month I'm gonna be making a piece of artwork, making it into a card. And it's going to be like, um, I wish I had it I had it to give you the example, but if you have my Sabbath card game, it'll be the same kind of card. Um, yeah, so I'll be sending one out every month and it's kind of like a build your own deck thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> and, um, and for anyone who subscribes, like right off the bat, I'm gonna also send you a binder to keep all of the writing in and um, a tarot bag to keep all of the cards. So that's the plan. Allison, thanks. I'm really excited. Um, but this that's my unofficial announcement of it. But I have mentioned it to Amber before because I think we were talking about it like, gosh, it must have been months ago. And I was like, I'm going to do this in 2023. This is my plan. <laughs> thanks. I'm so excited. But yeah, so it's something, um, it's basically going to, it's going to be like at the 25 per month tier across platforms. If you do that, then you're a part of it. But um, it could be like the tier three on Twitch. It could be on Ko-fi if you want to get bonus spiritual content. It could be on Patreon if you want to get bonus art content along with it. So it's like whatever, because it's not just that. You also get all of the tiers under it. So you can choose whatever platform if you want to do it, like makes sense for it. Sleepy Duck, I actually do sell my art in real life. My like... Um, my oil paintings, I sort of, I put them up either in like coffee shops or galleries. I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done it in a while since having a baby, but I sell those in real life, but my watercolors I put on my Etsy shop. <laughs> but these Oracle, these Oracle cards, they're gonna just be the cards. <laughs> but thanks Carly, thanks Sleepy Duck, thanks Allison. I'm excited. <gasps> oh, Sleepy Duck. I think I have one watercolor still for sale on Etsy, but um, I'm gonna keep putting them up when I, I think I have one. Or is it, I have drawings. I think I might have drawings up. I don't even remember what I have on Etsy right now. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna put them up as I make them too. Like we're working on that, on, on this, I'll pull it out. We're working on our deer watercolor that's gonna have butterfly wings. And this one, this lion moth mug, Misty's got the original for this one. Or actually, no, 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 Misty has, I'm sorry, I think this one might actually be up for sale. Misty has the tiger butterfly one. I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's hard to remember what's in my shop and not in my shop. Um, okay, were those all the stickers that weren't Christmas? Let's see. Mistletoe. Ooh, maybe I need to put this here. Does that cover it? Yes. Museum day. So Luke's playing a concert. Lars is playing a concert that day. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, sleepy duck. That's so sweet. Yeah, I need I need to I need to get back into oil painting. I've got the space to do it now. It used to be what I did all the time. And I need to get back into actually like putting my art up in shows. Amber, thank you so much. Thank you so so much. You are the first person subscribing to it and it just it makes me so happy. Oh, I can't wait. I was just telling everyone about it. And your first month you're gonna get um you're gonna get a binder to keep all the writing with the cards, and you're gonna get a tarot bag to keep the cards in as they come. Eee! I had this idea so long ago. I think I remember mentioning it to you. I think you were on stream and I can't remember who else. 
Um, but finally, it's like, finally, I'm going to get it going. Thank you so much for your support. It seriously means the world. <laughs> Yeah, Sleepy Duck. Oh, actually, so I am sharing, I am sharing my art on, now I feel like I'm just advertising my stuff. You all forgive me. I feel like it's hard to do it for some reason. Um, but yeah, Sleepy Duck on my Patreon, I'll put, I'll put a link in chat just in case you're interested. But on your Patreon, every month I'm sharing um, different pieces from oil paintings, performances, things that I've done, like in my real life art practice, I'm sharing that part of me on Patreon. It's kind of like my bonus art content. So yeah. Amber, you're totally good. No, no, no. I saw you bought it and I was like, oh, so I was telling everyone about it. Thank you so, so much. I'm so excited. And you're the first person. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Enough enough <laughs> yeah sleepy duck so if you subscribe to it you can do it on patreon um or on ko-fi or of course on on twitch or youtube it's like the tier three um but sleepy duck if you do it on patreon there's like bonus art stuff on there and if you do it on ko-fi there's bonus spiritual stuff so you can check out either um yeah so it's on it's on either one so you can look at patreon or you can look at ko-fi <laughs> Sleepy Duck, thank you. Thanks for considering it. I don't get a notification if you do it on Patreon, so you'll have to let me know um, while I'm streaming if you do. But on Kofi, I'll see it. It'll come up. <laughs> all right, amazing. <laughs> Enough self-promotion. I can't do it. I can't do it. You all, this is our spread. This is our spread. And, um, yeah. So, <laughs> and this was last week's. I'm going to add some pictures from the Winter Festival. We'll add those in. Yay, thanks for planning with me. So 